The ocean covers 70% of our planet, and yet less than 10% has been mapped and explored. That means there are billions, yeah, you heard that right, billions of life forms we have yet to uncover. Now, if we step away from life forms, there are underwater volcanoes, hydrothermal vents, shipwrecks, lost cities, and possibly even continents that are waiting to be discovered. That leaves a lot to the imagination. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 scariest facts about the deepest oceans. Are you ready to take the plunge? 25. Ocean Trench Fauna The Mariana Trench is the queen, or king, of ocean trenches, measuring 10,994 meters, or 36,070 feet deep. It is perpetually dark, with a water pressure of 1,086 bars, or 15,750 psi. That's equivalent to 1,071 times the pressure at sea level, enough to annihilate most submarines without specialized reinforcement. But it isn't just the pressure that can kill you. It's home to millions of unique, and extremely dangerous, creatures and deadly liquids. From giant toxic amoebas to liquid sulfur, freaky fish, and amphipods, it's the one place on Earth that we can confidently say was not designed for humans. 24. Antarctic Bottom Water Deep underneath the ice of Antarctica is a dense, nutrient-rich current that's critical to Earth's health. It cools the planet, stores heat and carbon dioxide, nourishes distant ecosystems, and influences the global climate. But the Arctic bottom water, as it's known, might eventually become a liability. Climate change could disrupt its formation, unleashing a wave of warmer, acidic water into the ocean, potentially suffering ecosystems and accelerating climate change. Like the movie The Day After Tomorrow, but, you know, for real. 23. Marine Parasites Marine parasites are diverse and frightening, especially given that the majority of these organisms are extremely difficult to see right in front of you, never mind when they're swimming around in massive bodies of water. One critter specifically is particularly creepy. The name of the species is Loa Loa, but it's better known as the eye worm. Yeah, you could probably guess where this is going. The eye worm goes through multiple stages of life, one of which can involve living inside a nice, warm, juicy human host. They require water for their survival, which explains why they frequently gravitate to our only exterior body part that always contains an abundance of fluid, our eyes. 22. Deep sea vents can reach up to 700 degrees Fahrenheit, 371 Celsius. The Mariana Trench not only comes with extreme pressure and bizarre creatures, but also boasts extreme temperature variations. These temperatures can vary between 1 degree and 4 degrees Celsius, that's 34, 39 Fahrenheit, and 450 Celsius, or 700 degrees Fahrenheit. Hydrothermal vents, known as black smokers, shoot out water hot enough to melt lead, yet it doesn't boil. The immense pressure at this depth, over 155 times greater than that at the surface, acts like a lid preventing boiling. 21. Great white sharks congregate in mass every year in one location for the ultimate feeding frenzy. In 2002, scientists started to realize that their tagged great white sharks kept disappearing from coastal waters and reappearing halfway between Hawaii and Baja, California. They named the area the White Shark Cafe, and it remained somewhat of a mystery until 2018 when a dedicated expedition revealed its secrets. The sharks congregated to take part in the ultimate elephant seal feeding frenzy. The cafe's location coincides with the elephant seal's breeding grounds, and the added benefit of easy access to food, like fish and squid, attracts large numbers of seals, and consequently, sharks looking for their next meal. 20. One milliliter of ocean water can contain 10 million viruses. I bet that makes you feel a bit different about that mouth full of water you swallowed the last time you went for a swim. It's believed that the oceans contain a staggering one in a million viruses, and it's a one followed by 30 zeros. And yes, a single drop of ocean water can hold up to 10 million viruses. While the number of viruses become less as you venture deeper and further offshore, even at 4,000 meters below the surface, there's still likely around 100,000 per milliliter. 19. The ocean will die without coral. 
Okay guys, I need you to bear with me because I'm about to drop a few scary truth bombs. Half of the planet's coral reefs have disappeared in the last 30 years. And if the present conditions continue, an additional 20% could be gone by 2035. That is terrifying. Losing our coral reefs is not only bad news for fish, it is a global crisis. Reefs support a diverse range of marine life and protect coastlines from storms. Without them, fish populations would plummet, replaced by harmful algae. Coral reefs also contribute to the production of oxygen in the air we breathe, but the impact extends beyond the environment. The consequences would be disastrous for coastal communities that rely on fishing for a living and food. To replace the lost protein, we would probably have to dip into unsustainable farming practices. It's a downward spiral the world cannot afford. 18. Where is all that plastic? We all know that tons of plastic end up in the oceans, directly or through rivers. But where does it all end up? The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is notorious, but tons more vanish each year. It's a mystery that scientists have dubbed dark plastic. Is it eaten by animals, buried deep in the ocean, or something else entirely? We simply don't know. According to oceanographer Eric von Sibyl, 99% of the plastic is missing. We've lost it. Now that's creepy. 17. The Mohorovicic discontinuity. There are some things we should probably not be allowed to do, like drilling too deep into the ocean floor, for instance. The boundary between the Earth's crust and its mantle is known as the Mohorovicic discontinuity, or MOHO for short. Today, we know very little about its composition. So, in true human fashion, we tried to learn a bit more about the MOHO's composition a few decades ago by drilling into the ocean floor. We were unsuccessful. But the world scientists have not been deterred. They hope to try again within the next few years as our technology progresses. 16. Bobbit Worms The aptly named Bobbit Worm, named after Lorena Bobbit, and if you know, you know, is a terrifying predator. It can grow up to three meters long, and usually it settles into sandy burrows where it waits with its sensory antennae outstretched. Prey that get too close trigger an explosive attack, and their razor-sharp jaws and venomous bristles paralyze their targets without exerting too much energy. Luckily for us, human encounters are rare, and thankfully no serious injuries have been reported. I'm not so sure what would constitute serious in this case, but hopefully it's not a Bobbit-like event. 15. Feather stars. In the deepest reaches of the ocean, beyond the reach of sunlight, are creatures known as deep sea feather stars. Unlike their shallow water relatives anchored to the sea floor, these bioluminescent crinoids are free floating and can come together in their hundreds while drifting through the abyss. But don't be fooled by their looks. The fearsome predators actually have tiny harpoons hidden inside their feathery arms, which they use to impale and catch their unsuspecting prey. So don't, don't, don't go hugging them. Just because they have more arms doesn't mean better hugs. 14. The dead bodies in the ocean. Every year, thousands of people lose their lives at sea. An estimated 236,000 from drowning alone, the vast majority, up to 70%, are never found. From decomposition research studies, we know that fish and crabs quickly attack any remains, while salt and deep sea pressure can significantly speed up the breakdown. In case you were wondering, it takes about three weeks for remains to be turned into bones. It's grim, I know. What adds to the mystery is that some bodies sink quickly, while others drift for miles, caught in underwater structures or carried by currents. For the moment, those lost at sea still become part of a very unpredictable journey that leaves scientists with more questions than answers. 13. Underwater Waterfalls Beneath the frigid waters of the Denmark Strait between Greenland and Iceland lies an incredibly powerful phenomenon. Here, warm surface water gradually loses heat and increases density, eventually becoming heavy enough to sink. This triggers a massive underwater waterfall, not of cascading water, but of dense, cold water plunging over an invisible cliff. This downward flow, estimated to reach a staggering 11,500 feet, dwarfing even Niagara Falls, drives a powerful current known as the Denmark Strait Overflow. Although we cannot see it, this powerful current is one of the unseen factors that shape the climate on Earth 
and much like the Antarctic bottom water, is vulnerable to human activities. 12. Dead Zones Dead zones could be called underwater deserts. Their name says it all. These dead zones are caused by excess nutrients, often from farming, which fuel explosive algae growth. The algae die off, decompose, and devour crucial oxygen. This creates hypoxic zones, less than 2 ppm oxygen, which suffocates marine life. Slower creatures that can't get away, like starfish and corals, quickly die off, leaving eerie underwater deserts. Farmers are particularly vulnerable, as evidenced by the vast Gulf of Mexico dead zone. 11. The birthplace of devastating storms. If there's one place you do not want to be on a stormy day, it is the Pacific Ocean. It holds the questionable honor of being the birthplace of the most devastating storms on Earth. Tropical storms and cyclones are more common there than anywhere else, while the Western Pacific is especially notorious for brewing up super typhoons, the strongest storms on Earth. They're fueled by warm water, and the Pacific's enormous size and tropical location create the perfect breeding ground. 10. The loudest ocean sound came from an ice quake. In 1997, scientists studying underwater volcanoes recorded an ultra-loud noise unlike anything heard before. They called it the bloop, and spent the next several years trying to track the sound's origin. Conspiracy theorists went crazy and speculated that it might have been anything, from giant creatures to secret submarines. Cthulhu, anyone? Driven by curiosity, researchers deployed more listening devices and finally tracked the sound's origin. The bloop wasn't a monster. An iceberg cracking and calving in Antarctica generated the powerful sound, which traveled vast distances due to the unique properties of deep-sea acoustics. 9. The biggest ocean waves are found beneath the surface. Have you ever heard of internal waves? These giants form underneath the ocean's surface and can grow over 650 feet tall. Unlike surface waves created by wind, these underwater monsters are formed where water layers of different densities meet. Some studies suggest they might contribute to the energy that fuels rogue waves, while others indicate limited interaction. 8. There's an ice sheet larger than the continental United States. The East Antarctic Ice Sheet is the largest ice sheet in the world. It covers about 5.4 million square kilometers. That is roughly the size of Europe. It contains 90% of the world's glacial ice, which makes it an important part of the planet's climate system, to say the least. It acts like a giant mirror, reflecting incoming solar radiation back into space and sorting out the world's heat balance. Unfortunately, rising global temperatures pose a serious threat to its stability. According to estimates, even a slight increase in melting could unleash enough water to inundate coastal communities worldwide. Disruptions to ocean currents triggered by meltwater play havoc on the world's weather patterns, influencing rainfall and agriculture worldwide. 7. The Pacific Ocean is wider than the moon. While we often think of the moon as immense, the Pacific Ocean dwarfs it in terms of width. This watery giant stretches an impressive 19,000 kilometers, or 11,806 miles across, a staggering five and a half times wider than the moon's 3,400 kilometers, or 2,112 miles. Just picture five moons next to each other. That is the size of the Pacific, and we've only managed to map a tiny portion of it. Six, half of the United States is beneath the ocean. The United States is so much bigger than you think. Its size actually includes a massive area of land underneath the sea, 3.8 million square miles to be exact. So it's about as twice as big as you thought it was. This incredible underwater territory stretches from California to Maine, even covering the depths of the Mariana Trench, Earth's deepest point. Five, most of Earth's volcanic activity happens in the ocean. While land-based volcanoes may grab the headlines, scientists estimate more than 80% of eruptions actually occur in the ocean. These submarine volcanoes are challenging to track, but in 2009, researchers captured the deepest eruption ever seen, over five miles down in the Mariana Trench. These underwater giants play a crucial role in shaping our planet. They build islands, influence ocean chemistry, and even support unique ecosystems around hydrothermal vents. 4. 
the United States lost a hydrogen bomb in the ocean. Look, I'm no expert, but you would think we'd keep better track of our most dangerous bombs. In 1958, an F-86 fighter jet collided with a B-47 bomber carrying a hydrogen bomb. In a desperate attempt to prevent an explosion, the crew decided to get rid of it and dropped it into the Atlantic Ocean. Despite extensive search efforts, the bomb has never been recovered. While the plutonium core was removed before the drop, the environmental impact of the remaining uranium and the bomb's casing remains to be seen. For now, let's hope that uranium stays right where it is wherever that may be. Three, the Cori Vrecken Maelstrom is a permanent violent whirlpool. Just off the coast of Scotland is one of the largest and most powerful permanent whirlpools on earth. It's called the Cori Vrecken Maelstrom and comes complete with churning waters and waves that can get over nine meters or 30 feet high. Tourists can't get enough of it. So much so that the government regularly has to remind everyone not to get too close. Oh man, now I miss Maelstrom at Epcot. Nuts. But Frozen Ever After is good, but I miss Maelstrom. Two, the Bermuda Triangle's twin. The Devil's Sea, southeast of Tokyo, has captured people's imaginations with its tales of mysterious disappearances and shipwrecks. Nicknamed the Pacific's Bermuda Triangle, people would love to add a paranormal spin on it. However, research suggests the natural world is actually to blame. This part of the ocean is fraught with storms, currents, and rogue waves. To make matters worse, the Devil's Sea is also located in a subduction zone, making it prone to earthquakes and volcanic activity. One, more than 80% of the ocean remains unexplored. Yeah, yeah, I know, I, I talked about this in our intro, but it deserves the spot at number one on today's list. More than 80% of the ocean has never been documented, captured, or even visited by humans. Come on, people. We know more about the farthest reaches of space. To put that into perspective, if the Earth was a fruit, our exploration would cover only its skin, nothing of the juicy parts. The unexplored area, over 3 billion square kilometers, is approximately 26 times the size of Africa. It's a hidden world larger than all the land masses on Earth put together that could contain mountains higher than Everest, animal life, vents, I mean, basically too much to even try and guess. Exploring this gigantic underwater frontier isn't just about satisfying our curiosity, it just might be the key to humanity's future. So, do you like the ocean or are you afraid of it? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones. Links deep down in that description below. And, well, if you like today's list, you will love the one that we did a while back on 25 images guaranteed to trigger your thalassophobia, where I covered everything from incredibly murky waters and terrifying cave dives to creepy underwater rivers and deadly iceberg exploration. So, to get to that list now, I guess unless you have thalassophobia, click here. Or if you do, click it. Maybe you can conquer. Maybe it will help your philosophy. Go ahead, click it. Let's do this. Let's dive in. Oh, I think I used it at the beginning. I'm just recycling jokes. Oh, no.